Well, Steam's got their summer sale on, and I picked up the Train Sim World Oakvale Subdivision. And we can see on our screen, uh, one of the offerings is the Hamilton Explorer. That's in the scenario selection. If you go in your menu and find the very last scenario, the Hamilton Explorer. That is our free roam, no objective scenario. And that's what we're going to be looking for because that's what I want to talk about today. So what I do is I'll go into uh, our startup menu and notice that I have a profile up in the right hand corner. It says Gene. Let's change our profile and down on the bottom you'll see the, the icon that's green. It's the guy with the com uh, conductor's cap on and then the Q switch profile. Yes, I want to switch profile and of course I can create a new one and I already did called Free Roam Canada and we'll talk more about why I did this in a minute but what we do is we create that profile and then once we get into uh, saving it as we have already done we can then always go into this profile just for this particular scenario and then select last played uh, but before we do make sure we get into the right uh, route and last played and then it will take us into the uh, into the game now uh, if you hadn't seen my other video on how to create a profile and save it, you'll see the PP Free Roam Canada uh, profile save. And then every time we do a last save, it'll turn into a BAK underscore Free Roam Canada save. Those two files is what's making up the scenario and possibly should be files that you could share with others and then they would be able to play the scenario as uh, wherever you left off or however you set it up like I said I have another YouTube video on that topic and as far as I know in Train Sim World 2020 that still applies and still works uh, and if there's anybody out there to contest it and tell me it does that would be great but my own testing showed that it did be between uh, couple computers I have here at home but we are now in uh, my last point of where I left off uh, this little subdivision and with no objectives I'm free to do whatever I want and it's a it's a beautiful thing this gives us uh, plenty of room to roam and and shuffle and switch cars around. Let's take a look at the route map. Um, you'll get all of these yards and switch points and places to to uh, to play in. And so what we want to do is go up into that area there, pick up a string of tank cars, uh, and then bring them back down, and then take them to the other side. Of this uh, of this route, and we'll get into that now. Um, switch over the points. Oh, you see all the points in this area, uh, this free roam area, are manual. So you have to get out and switch them yourself, or switch them on the map. But using the eight key that gives you the free camera, I like to use the eight key. Uh, you could actually get up out of your seat and go into the free walk mode where you can walk around but that takes the engineer out of the cab and puts him out walking around where I like to keep the engineer in the cab and use the cameras and for the conductor position now uh, you can hit the three key and that will grab hold of engine or either the front of the, actually the front of the train or the back of the train hit the three again and take it to the other side um, but once you set up your position it'll it'll take you to that position where you left off then of course using the eight key we can go to the free cam and fly on over uh, and switch our points 
and then one of the beautiful things about doing it this way is I can play conductor the engineer can stay in the engineer's seat um, and then uh, I can bring up the HUD uh, and consider that to be my handheld radio to communicate with the engineer tell him the engineer uh, exactly what I would like and expect and conduct the train as I will the only downside to playing it this way is the conductor is not a free walking person but uh, a camera that's flying around and so you have to use your imagination a little bit on this uh, but it's uh, so far uh, it's the best solution I know of of all of the different train simulators that are out there um, to be able to free walk and also to have the free cam and the combination to be able to ride the train uh, as a conductor on the, on the steps or the back of the one of the cars or actually get in the engineer's uh, seat open the windows and, and just take it from the engineer spot uh, so that's just awesome about train sim world that we can do these things so you release the brakes and put it into Ford and let's go up the line here and around the bend into that yard that has a string of tank cars uh, that we're looking to pick up. I love throwing my arm out the window and sticking my head out there to get this view. Uh, I don't always play uh, with my head out the window like this but I think it's a wonderful way uh, for you as a viewer uh, to see what's going on um, because it gives you the opportunity also um, you see I'm on a boom camber now that's the two key that puts you out on a boom and you can swing around the train and, 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 and uh, take a look at it and then hit eight to be in a free cam again uh, yeah so back to our view here with uh, our head out the window it's kind of neat because uh, it kind of puts me out away from the the gauges so I can see the whole uh, interior and, and what's going on so you as a viewer can tell uh, what things and, and handles are moving and also see the view outside uh, at the same time uh, because when I pop back in the seat, everything's too close for you to know what's going on. So I like that for uh, presenting it uh, in, in YouTube, and you can you can get a good look outside as well as um, seeing what I'm doing inside as we, um, as we move along here. What's uh, <laughs> I love the scenery here but let's take a break and stop the train and take a look up the rail and see where we're going getting out our map uh, once you get familiar with these areas and uh, obviously you'll get some time on this you know a little bit more where to go and what's happening but uh, in the world of trains you make a mistake and go up the line that that wastes too much time having to backtrack and it's usually a good idea just to stop take a look and get a feel for where you're at and not get lost yeah running along this the uh they're not i wouldn't say city streets but streets going back in this industrial park this whole area back here is the industrial sector. It's just below uh, Oak. Oakvale is on the other side of there. It's not part of this route. We're in the Hamilton area, um, which is you know below, quite a bit below Toronto. But Toronto would be the the largest city that I can think of that's near here. Let's take a look. We have to change this point out manually, so we're in the free cam now, and that's the eight key. And we'll switch the point. I used to be pretty good at centering this without the HUD up and, and making the switch points turn, but 
<clears throat> I don't know if it's a change in 2020 uh, TSW or or what. I I'm, I'm having trouble finding it without the uh, without the HUD being up. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why I like to keep that center dot as part of the HUD that's on the center of the screen. You can actually remove it, but I like it because it's uh, the thing I use for for the conductors. Uh, activating uh, whether they're switch points or loading uh, equipment or uncoupling or coupling now I'm loving this uh, Oakville subdivision it's offered us a lot of industry areas and plenty of yard and actually multiple yards and multiple spots where we can move trains around in a free roam environment and that's just awesome this is what I've been looking for since this came out several years ago and I'm just delighted to see it and all of the detail they put in the scenery uh, part of this Actually, uh, as I was doing this video, it's the first time I've been up in this area. I've actually done, uh, since I started this scenario, I've, I've been coming back, doing the last play. This is my fourth time in, I think. So, uh, you know, once I finish up what, what we're doing today, I'll save it. And then when I come back in on another day, I'll come pick up right where I saved and I can continue my free roam. In a sense, uh, I thought about naming the profile instead of naming it free roam, naming it career. Because uh, it's the closest you can get to career uh, in Train Sim World. Uh, you, I think the idea of the, um, uh, not the timetables, but the, um, the journeys. The journeys is, uh, was the idea that you do a whole slew of scenarios uh, one after another and that would be like a career mode. Uh, but that doesn't give you the free ability as a, a career person to do and, and uh, you know it, it, it really it's limited and locks you into whatever scenarios they have uh, lined up for you and then when you're done you're done. Your career is ended so uh, this is to me the closest you can be to a career. We're coupled up here now, and that's what I love uh, about uh, Train Simulator. And the thing that uh, tickles me the most is the uh, shunting of cars, the um, coupling up and uncoupling. Uh, to me, that's the action. And, uh, and, uh, the, it's kind of, to, in a sense, uh, solving puzzles. And if you're a, a gamer that likes to solve puzzles, then switching cars about and is, is a constant uh, puzzle and to me that uh, is the strategy there's some there's definitely strategy into it uh, like playing a deck of cards you know what move and what's the best move and the most timely move to switch uh, particular cars out in today's uh, you know seeing what I'm doing is just picking up a string of tank cars and bringing them to the other end there's not a lot of strategy but still uh, it's what I like and um, I'm delighted that I can do this in train sim world uh, with the ability to get out on foot and play you know, or with the free cam play the, um, the conductor's position what you see I'm doing here is I want to get out of this cab and get into the other cab because we just reverse cabs. So to do that, uh, I do get out on foot. After I uh, after I've uh, well, <laughs> I got out on foot there and started walking to the other cab and I realize you can't get there from that side you got to come you got to get on this side you got to come through the, the door 
uh, right behind the <laughs> right behind the engineer seat. And so we'll go ahead and sit down there. Okay, so now that we're in the front cab now, after we reversed it and put the tank cars on the other side, we'll have to do the reverse of what we did before. That is the cutoff needs to go to freight. If you didn't notice, you can go back and check. I turned the, the other cutoff on the rear one to, to cut off instead of freight. Now this time I put it on freight and uh, putting in the uh, reverser handle here. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble. There it is. I had a little trouble getting that reverser handle to go in. Uh, then, you know, now when we put it in forward and we release the brakes, uh, this cab should be in control. It's pretty much the only other thing is turning on the lights and the gauges. They're already on because I have, I have done this before in, the, in the, my other saves. So this engine was already up and going and so but normally you would check all these gauges, make sure the fuel pumps on and the lights are on and, and the engines in the run mode. Uh, so you're, we're ready to go now with, uh, with the, this being our forward cab. So I did want to do that during this, uh, this video and show you how to go from the one cab and switch over to the other. Uh, basically it's really changing the cutoff. Um, uh, the the engines themselves, as you lash them up and start them up for the first time, you should set them in the intermediate stage so either one can run this way um, rather than as an individual. Um, but, you know, we didn't go into starting up an engine today, but uh, that would be one of the things you want to learn at some point. So we're now on the 8 kilometer track. Uh, from this point to the other side of our subdivision and, uh, really the Hamilton section of it trying different camera views and looking at the scenery here So to be honest, I'm uh, enjoying uh, this this download, uh, this particular content. I've been wanting it for a while, hoping that it give me more switching ability than the Train Sim World has given us before, and it really has. So I'm delighted about this. It's definitely have been and for me worth the download. It certainly has given all of the switching that I can dream of. It reminds me of one of the downloads, I can't remember the name of it, that I had used in an industrial area for a train simulator uh, about five years ago, where you had the, the, the harbor and the boat docks and all that stuff. But looking at this, you can see where I'm traveling, uh, and I had kind of photoshopped a map and added the names of the different areas on there. And so we just came out of the... Um, Hobson Street all the way up the far right and we're working our way down it's at least eight kilometers uh, all the way down to the far side where it says Victoria Avenue I'm not going up into the Frank Road Yard I think that's supposed to be flank and not Frank but uh, either Train Sim World got it wrong or I got it wrong uh, but I want you to notice um, the red I put red markers these red markers, the one all the way to the left is a red single where you don't have a manual single and you're stuck. And the other two are invisible walls. That's two I found. I've actually found the third somewhere. You can't go past those red markers. The train will bounce off of it. It's an invisible wall. Some of you have noticed this in Train Sim World and other uh, routes uh, that they have those. It's... You find out about them the hard way, uh, usually, because you don't know that they're there until you bang into them. But now you know for uh, the Oakville the subdivision, when you're down in the free roam area, there is those invisible walls. Uh, you can pause and take a closer look at where they're at. 
Uh, they usually occur when you're trying to go over a main street somewhere. All the, the one all the way to the right, um, if you go back and look at that, the one that's all the way to the right is, is when you curve down and off into a main street. For the purpose of this video, I, uh, I edited out most of the traveling of that 8 kilometers uh, in order that you didn't have to sit with me for another 40 minutes and I'd run out of breath. But uh, we're all the way up to the Victoria Street area now and kind of looking to pull as many of these rail cars into that one spur um, off to the left. And I can see that um, all those cars aren't going to make it in that spur, but that's our task to get as many in as, as we can. And that's what we'll be working on for the next few, uh, well, not a few minutes, uh, for the next uh, remainder of the video. <laughs> As this train's going by, uh, one of the things that uh, I kind of a disappointment is without a career mode, there is no need really to fuel up your engines even though the engines are supposedly using fuel and there are fuel ports and different areas on these uh, on these routes and subdivisions where you uh, one of the scenarios that are pre-made for you will probably have you fill up an engine at one point or another but here I am in the free roam environment I do not know in this eight kilometers or, or so of all of this of the yards there being a place to fill up so if I decided that I come back at my last save and day after day it means I'd have to work through the night um, and come back another day another day and eventually run out of fuel I don't know that there's a port to fill up hopefully there is and I can find it but uh, right now I don't think there is um, I hadn't come across it and I could be wrong there are uh, tank loading areas for sure uh, in this uh, free roam environment that we're in so there there are those opportunities right behind you can see in the background that's a that's a, a tanker car loading area so uh, sometime I'll get a chance to play around with that So I obviously haven't explored every bit of this uh, this uh, free roam area. Uh, so, you know, maybe there is a place to fuel, fuel up, but uh, I, I didn't notice it on the map, that's for sure. Well, I'm taking advantage of that three key, which uh, puts me at the end of the train, and I can ride the back of the train. This is the one thing that is, uh, I've, in train simulator, I could do it. Uh, it wasn't quite as clean as this. You couldn't ride the very back. You can kind of had to ride the next car over and mouse around a little bit. But this is really good, I think, uh, for me to, uh, in the conductor's position, to grab a hold of the, and, in a sense, and it's really a sticky cam, but, you know, to be on the back of the train and ride it and pull up the hood as your radio and give instructions to the engineer and uh, really for a full uh, train simulator um, situation. I noticed that this particular spur didn't have a, a end of line guard to it. I, if, you, if, if I don't stop this train, it will go right off the rail into those bushes. So, I better walk out a little bit and get a better view and give some. Uh, instructions on a slowly pulling this thing in and spotting it right where I want it
So one of the things I had not talked about is I hadn't been paying attention, I suppose, but Train Sim World announced that they were going to have Train Sim World 2 come out. And it's probably good that I hadn't noticed because it wasn't until after I downloaded the, this subdivision that I found out a Train Sim World 2 was coming out. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't have downloaded this. Well, according to Train Sim World or Dovetail Games, it will be this the subdivision will be compatible with Train Sim World 2 uh, to the extent that it, it features what it has here. But any new features of Train Sim World 2 would probably not work um, in this. So we're going to split it here. Of course, I love the fact that I can uh, uh, put the handbrake on and uncouple and uh, we're only actually having to pull out one car from here and the rest of the train can stay on the spur until I decide what else I want to do with it probably at some point move these empties over to that fill up area and they'll be ready to uh, to be uh, in use so Actually, uh, there's been a lot of complaining uh, about Train Sim 2 and about us having to buy it again. Uh, I know there's going to be some kind of partial break for those who already own the game, but it's not going to be free. Uh, me, personally, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm, I understand there's not going to be a lot of feature upgrades or optimization type of things other than what would come naturally in the new um, Unreal Engine. Uh, they're going to the latest version of Un I'm not sure it's the latest version, but they're going to a much better version of Unreal Engine. So all future Train Sim World uh, coming out will be uh, be better than we have here. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time.